And so on to part two of this Shimano battery repair. Now that's how established that the modifications made in the first part worked. It's time to add some charging circuitry. I'm planning on using this BMS on the end here. I've removed the ribs that were on the end of the original BMS because they weren't actually doing anything. I was wondering if that will fit height wise. There's only one way to find out. That's not going to fit on the top there. It's because of these screw bosses. And they're very tight against the side here. So that's a no-go. Maybe I can get it down the side. It's too fat to fit in there either. If you can see that, that's nearly there. We mess it right to the edge. It's this pesky boss here that's interfering with the wires. Well, the short answer is no. With this being Christmas, Shimano have made damn sure that there's no room at the inn. There's no room for this anyway. Not on top, not on the side. I wish I could get a tiny one of these. Let's offer that up and see if that will fit. That's a fail. So even though it fits in here, what I didn't didn't allow for is the inside getting thinner there. So we've only got this fat bit on the inside that it could go in. <laughs> the only other possibility I have. Unless I miraculously find a tiny charge board. It's put in the bottom here. It may just go in there. Did answer me at the end. <coughs> After a little bit of machining or hacking away at this battery case, this BMS should fit there, look like that. The excavated bit. Before going any further, I've taped that BMS in place to see if it will fit in here. It's so close I can taste it. That's nearly there. There's still about a five mil gap. This may be hard to see. It's the very edge of these MOSFETs on the BMS that's fouling right on there. Just not enough clearance. I'll have to file the MOSFETs down. <laughs> Seeing as plans A, B and C failed, there is a possibility. But it means some extreme modification. It will go. down to about there. What the extreme mod is, I'll have to get rid of this bracket that's holding it, it's not doing a great deal. It's got four screws holding it together anyway and <laughs> it is a tight fit. You can't see down there, it's a bit dark but it will go in there. It won't go on this side because it's got the charging housing socket thingy. But that goes down to about there. And the BMS, where, did, where will it come out to? About there, say. In there. Do away with this slot come bracket. And it'll fit. On the other side, the char no, it's not charging, that's the discharge plug. That's the Charging plug is on this side, leave this bracket alone. Get in there. There's about 7mm of space on there, and I need about 6.5. Some more machining required. Looks like it will. 
much a shot anything out that is sliding nicely underneath that it's nearly there it fits nicely into this side it goes down to about there somewhere but that's not a bad shot is it that housing is just too big I was concentrating on this side didn't realize I'm gonna fit on that side but I can wire that directly into the board a bit of micro soldering there let's see if you fit now you little slut I've soldered wires directly onto the board that angle <laughs> as we well say like a bit of mountain <laughs> you can google that that'll fit I'll try closing it without a connector fouling it here we go now the small matter Connecting the balance wires. I've wired up the VMS, this side and that side, and I've also got another polyfuse coming off the charging socket. It's a BMS as it sits there. Cock height. It's better. I'm going to see if this charges above my charger, just the generic one. Yes. See, the battery voltage went up a little bit straight away. So that works. But I've tried it with the official Shimano charger and it won't. Seeing as the Shimano charger won't work, I'll charge up using mine. I'm going to show this with the lights off. Because you couldn't see the green with the overhead lights on. So that's fully charged. I wasn't happy with having no output protection on this battery. So I put a 14 amp polyfuse in line. Just in case of any shorts. Seeing as this original Shimano charger won't work with my new setup with the new BMS, I shall have to graft an output plug onto my generic charger. Just cut the wires off that and I'll splice that together. this charger won't work now is because of the communication wires that it's got in it I thought there was two but there's actually three thin wires in there that's it ready to go back to the customer time for a conclusion I think if I can it's been a bit of an epic so what we've done over the two videos I bypassed the BMS I put a polyfuse on the output in case of shorting. I put in a new BMS for charging in different positions. Tried it here, there, and everywhere, and settled on the back side here. Wired it all up. And, yeah, it's a workaround, but it works. And if that was of any use or any interest at all, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, and of course, the kebab. Mm. Keep up.